Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Laura and I'm very happy to have you join me today. And if you're new here, consider giving me the thumbs up as it really helps my channel, but also by subscribing, leaving me your comments because I love to hear from you guys and make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when we have new content to share with you. All right, so let's get started as I show you how I made these really lovely holly and berry Christmas ornaments. However, they don't have to be just for the tree. They can hang in the window as well, but add them as extra decoration to your gifts. All right, so let's get started. So the materials we will be using for these beautiful little holly and berry ornaments is a red and a green aluminum wire and this is a 14 gauge and it's super super soft very easy to work with and then we have our 12 gauge rebar wire we have heavy duty snips because this is uh, this is pretty heavy wire the smaller snips uh, you may very well struggle with them so if you can get a, a larger parrot that's great these are jewelry pliers. They're a barrel nose, so those are really great for the aluminum wire. We have chain nose pliers. Once again, it helps you manhandle this stuff. And then this is a jewelry tool. It's a bale making pliers. It may very well have a different name. I just am not privy to that. So let's get started. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to uh, working right off of the spool of our 12 gauge rebar wire we are just going to measure off a length uh, this is probably upwards of about an arm's length which may very well be uh, too long but that is fine it's very inexpensive so if you're using those kinds of materials they're super super cheap and wasting a bit is it's just fine so sorry I don't have a definitive measurement for you guys but you know if you've watched any amount of my videos then you can see that that's pretty much the case I wing it with a lot of the projects that I make here so what we're doing is we're just wrapping that wire around our round bale uh, pliers here but you know what if you don't have something like that kicking around you could use something as simple as a knitting needle and I leave a couple of these in the studio just so that I have them on hand they're very very convenient to use uh, especially when you're making spirals okay so we got two I'm going for three wraps around there. Oh, pulling pliers and stuff out of my supply here. Move that out of the way too. So we went in and we did three spirals. And then we're just going to take those spirals and we're going to pull them out in any direction and these are going to be our berries as I said and this one here ended up a little a little wonky and by that I mean you know this edge here is um, kind of flattened so I'm just going to take and twist that straighten it out a little bit with my pliers okay so there you go we have our berry berries pardon me um, easy peasy very easy to make and then we're going to start to form our leaves now if you think about a holly leaf um, they have very swooping very pointy sharp in real life very sharp ends to them they're almost like little thorns on the end and then it comes down in that same shape and comes up and then there is this um, heavy veining and I really love the holly plant because it's very it's heavy and it's almost waxy but once again you have to be very careful being around it because uh, it does bite <laughs> all right so I've just got a little swoop here and now I want to make 
a pretty sharp pretty sharp point on there and we can go in and we can make those even sharper and then you see I'm just forming with my hands here very smoothly and I'm going to take this and I'm going to bend it forward again I want to do it very sharply and another another nice curve like this and then this will be the point this will be the end of our holly here so a nice nice sharp bend there again like so and then we want to match more or less the shape that we have on the other side and then coming back up to our berries okay so now we're going to just take this wire and we're going to try and fit it in between a couple of those berries doesn't matter which ones it is and then kind of pulling this around quite firmly actually you want to give it a good yank you can even take your pliers and just give it a, a good squeeze in there and then we're just running this down the center of our of our holly like so and then we're going to fasten it here okay so we're going to cut this off just leave yourself a good a good tail a couple centimeters perhaps thereabouts and we only need one wrap okay so we want to get this nice and close nice and tight and just give it a really good squeeze and now by squeezing you can see that this wire naturally came to the back and that is awesome because we're going to flip it over and we're going to try and trim this as close in there as we possibly can and then we'll flatten it again okay awesome all right so now we do exactly the same thing with the other side so we pull in this wire out and try not to yank on it too much because it is directly attached it leads directly off of this one berry so then we do nice little swoop like that and then we're giving it a nice sharp bend like so I'm going to sharpen that up just a little bit okay And you'll see that my hands are ending up quite dirty. Um, that's just the nature of this wire. It is very dirty. Okay, another nice bend. Isn't that pretty? They're just so sweet. Okay, and then we just bring that wire. Oops bring that wire between the berries again and we're going to give it a nice squeeze here just to hold that in place like I said making sure that we're our leaves are independent of one another and I do want that 
tightened up so that there's not a lot of movement in there. And then we bring our wire here, snipping it off with a couple centimeters of wire. And then we're going to just bend that under in that area. And it slips around a bit, as you can see. So do your best. It's not the end of the world if it ends up a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. Okay, nice squeeze there. And then we're going to just chop this off here. Nice and close to our armature. All right, very pretty. So what you can do then, if you would like, you could just hang it from one of the berries or you can take your pliers and a scrap piece of wire and make yourself a nice jump ring for the top of that. And you simply do that by binning it on your pliers or once again, your knitting needle. You could use a pencil, um, you know, any, any number of things. And there's no set diameter of this either, okay? So you can make it as big or as small as you'd like. So now we've created that jump ring. Just give it a snip. We're going to flatten that out and then if you don't know or you're not aware of this already, when we open a jump ring, we just open it side to side versus pulling it apart like this. That way these are super easy to close and your ends match up um, most of the time identically, but it's very easy to close that gap if you just spread them apart sideways. So then we just take our jump ring and we pop it on there. And then we close it up. See how easy that was? Easy, easy, easy. So we ended up with just a, a bit of a hair of a gap here. So you can just go in and you can easily manipulate that and close it up. All right. So there we go. There is our first version of our holly. And so once again, this is a 14 gauge. So it's quite a bit softer than what... Um, than the other one is. So we're just going to get rid of those really heavy pliers and bring in a few smaller pliers. And these ones are actually jewelry pliers, so there's no teeth on them, right? So they're not going to scar your piece as badly. I mean, you still stand a risk anytime you're working with soft aluminum wire, but it does lessen the likelihood. So we're going to start off with our red. I'm just going to pull out a length here and obviously these are going to be our berries. Okay, so taking, and we're not going to need as, uh, as long a length because it is just the berries. So then we're going to take, and I'm using the largest, um, largest cylinder on these and we're going to make those three berries. Those three wraps. Very gently. So you can see I'm automatically not having to tug on it as much as I did with the other one. So then we cut a nice long length here. And then we open it up. Spread those out. Like, like so. Okay. So the variable here is that we're working with two pieces of wire. Okay. 
So with the green, once again, we're just going to pull out a length, pull out a length of wire. And, you know, I'm probably leaving about the better part of about 12 inches for this. Um, pretty, pretty close to that. Look at that. I'm almost like bang on or 30, probably about 32 centimeters or so. So then we're just going to fold that in half. And we're going to pop it behind our center berry. Okay, pulling that through. And we'll probably want to just give this a light squeeze, like so. And then I'm just going to cross it over because it's going to hold it in place. All right. And we do kind of want these tails out of the way as well so that they're not hindering hindering us as we are forming our our leaves. Okay, and I'm going to start on the left this time just because that's our cut length, so we'll know if we have to make up any length off of our off of our spool. Um, I don't think we will, but it doesn't hurt to be prepared. So there's our first swoop. And this is awesome because you can just bend it with your fingers, which is fabulous. I just love aluminum wire. You guys can leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the aluminum wire. And yes, I mean, it's more, it's more delicate, um, but it certainly, certainly is very very easy to work with and I can tell you just right now by looking at this it's going to be smaller not a lot smaller just somewhat smaller so we're probably about a centimeter shorter here at the end and that's cool you know and uh, you know what it might almost be better uh, being that the aluminum is so soft and you're going to have to um, store this carefully bring this up give it another good squeeze here to hold it in place and then run it down run it down the center of our leaf like so all right so actually this ended up being a really great length of wire. So we're snipping it off at about the centimeter point. And I want to bring this up over the top of the bottom of the leaf because I do want this to be the top. Okay, so then I'm flipping it over, giving it a bend over Over the point of our holly leaf. And it did slip a little bit there, and that's okay. And then we're just snipping that off nice and close and pressing it flat again. Awesome! Yeah, that ended up being perfect. Like, look at how much I ended up with left over. So, for the second leaf, we just repeat what we just did on this piece and our first piece here. So we just take take our wire, form that curve, create that point in the leaf. Once again, forming that curve. Okay. 
Okay, and then we're bringing our wire. This time we're going to go through on the opposite, or the net between the next berries. So this was between the first two, and then this will be between the second and the third. And we want to make sure that's in there really well. So we're going to press that flat. And at this point we can push our berries together just so that we're making sure that all of our wire is holding. And then we're just going to run our wire down to make our veining in the center, cutting it off like that, about the two centimeter point, and then we're po popping, poking that wire up through the center to create our veining, and then we're bending it over, giving it a nice squeeze, and then, hmm, oh, there we go. Snipping it off and then squeezing that in place like so. Is that pretty? Oh, I just love these. I think they're awesome. All right, fabulous. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this wire down. I just created kind of a little little swirl in here. And this is just really uh, to tack this wire in place, okay, so that it's not unraveling on us. I'm going to come around. Okay, awesome. Now for this one here, I am going to grab, this here's a skewer, that's what it is. Once again, you can use whatever you have on hand. And I'm just going to wrap this. So this is going to make just a little decorative element. All right, same thing on the other side. And the aluminum wire just makes these so, so very cheerful. Okay, close that up like so. And now, as with the black one that we had made, uh, you can decide to leave this just as it is and hang a uh, string or fishing line or whatever from um, this loop here or you can um, make yourself a make yourself a jump ring okay so for this I would recommend making a jump ring uh, with something a little bit heavier than what the aluminum wire is so we're going to go back we're going to get a, um, a scrap of the black wire that we used and once again, we're just going to create a loop. You know, if you're doing any amount of projects, sometimes it's a really great idea just to make a whole schwack of these and then you have them on hand. All right, so we're going in and cutting it on the end there. And in our pliers. And then once again, we're opening it, but we're going from side to side versus this way. Okay, popping that on there. And this actually could have been probably a little bit smaller. So there you go, guys. There are our beautiful holly and berry Christmas ornaments, but they also look really great on a gift. So who doesn't like to receive something extra special on our wrapping. 
So I'd like to say thank you so much for popping by and joining me to make this really fun project. I really appreciate you being here. And don't forget to give me the thumbs up as it really helps my channel. Subscribe, comment, and click the bell to get the notifications when I have new content to share with you guys. So for now, take care. I appreciate you being here and I will talk to you soon.